Hello and welcome to a new video guys. Today I'm going to show you how to fix Battlefield 1 being stuck on the splash screen and um, how to fix it. Now there's going to be like quite a bit of fixes. Uh, everything should work but um, it's guaranteed to fix. But if one doesn't work that doesn't mean the next one would work. Uh, there are a lot of fixes here and uh, this should work for everybody 100% guaranteed. So for most of you the game will actually be stuck on the splash screen and straight up this will become white now for me it won't because i already done the fix and it works but this took me like six hours to find and troubleshoot it now i'm going to close this ea attitude real quick after this and show you what fixes uh, you should use now this will fix all sorts of crashing problems with Battlefield 1 and first of all, which might be the most common issue, might not be, is um, tree click, uh, click on the tree dots right here and click on repair. This will check that through one game files and check if everything is um, installed correctly and stuff and try to fix it. Now if it's not installed correctly, it will try to repair and stuff like that, but obviously um, if this doesn't work, let's move on to the next step. Now this will work, but might not work, so it, it depends like on your luck of how bad the situation is. So if this doesn't work, what I would also check is if I have the latest version of Windows, here's the Windows update. Um, and this is cumulative update. This doesn't really matter as much as let's say 24H2 as I am right now, so you can just see here Windows 11, 24H2, OS build, 2600, blah 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 uh, make sure you're on the latest that also, what thing you need to make sure is you don't have your GPU overclocked again, this could be making uh, some issues for you all like your CPU if it's overclocked, which it isn't for me so GPU and CPU are both at default, although I have PBO, but it, that's not the issue. Now let's get into the more um, harder fixes, and this is uh, right click on your battlefield, open file location, and uh, see here in the battlefield folder, there should be battlefield1.exe, right click on these properties, then on compatibility, select uh, disable full screen optimizations, as well as run this program as administrator this might fix the issue and if this doesn't make sure to check this run this program in compatibility mode 4 and select windows 8 now if this don't work i would recommend keeping this on even though they might not work and going to your ea anti-cheat folder in battlefield 1 click on ea anti-cheat installer allow it uh, click on yes i mean and then select um, up here on that row you'll see you need to select your appropriate game um, that jump scared me <laughs> right here but um, just click on battlefield 1 and you can uninstall and then install it but repair is gonna uninstall and repair it so we can just click this and then you click ok you go to usually it's c program files uh, normal EA games battlefield 1 and select this folder and then click here and it should see anti-cheat installed now if that uh, once that is done you need to find here EA anti-cheat game uh, service launcher.exe right click on this and do the same thing as we did for battlefield 1 so you're just gonna check this this and this exactly as it is you can also change this if you have multiple users and then just click on uh, ok now this worked for a large majority of people but if it doesn't work i recommend you and also if you're getting an error like when you're trying to boot bf1 from the shortcut and it says 0x0007b activation ui.exe um, I have a quick fix for that also right now, which I will show you. So for this, we need to go to Chrome and search DX Web Setup. And then make a new tab and search VC++ AIO. 
and click on the first link, Tech Power App, in here, click on the Microsoft, um, download this, as well as download this here, wait, and this should download right here. I recommend you have a program like 7-zip or WinRAR to extract your EXE. So for 7-zip, you can just search here, click on download, open the setup, click on install, close, and it's installed. Now, we just want to click here on download and right, left click, right click, and then 7-zip. Or if it doesn't show 7-zip, right click, then show more options, and then 7-zip and extract to just click this. And we have a folder right here. We have an install dot uh, and line all um, batch file, which is fine. So left click, right click, and run as administrator. Click on yes, and this will install every Microsoft Visual C plus um, plus redistributable. This will help run every game because, as you can see, there's a number of years that's for games released in those years that's used C++ and these are necessary for pretty much everything. Now, once this closes, it's done and we can just delete these two folders right here. So, uh, if we want, but um, next up, we need to open dxwebsetup.exe. Um, I accept here and install Bing by just uh, and click that and it will say installing components. This will take quite a bit, but you just have to wait. Um, if it gives you like a random error and it says uh, equivalent or newer version is installed, that's fine. That means you had that already installed. And then we're gonna move on to the next fix. Now don't say like this, oh, this is a generic video that doesn't work. Don't worry, these are more like broad, like easier fixes, but we will get into more complicated fixes later, as you can see in the time steps. But yeah, this is just easier stuff that can be for people that don't know how to use PCs and they're mistaking an error for something else. Um, so for me, it says has determined the new equivalent version is already installed because it already has this installed. And now we can close this. Now you can go in the link in the description and download the zip with the DLLs which are runtime DLLs for Battlefield 1, which might help um, with the issue, might not, but it depends. Now, um, so you don't say I'm trying to virus you or anything, obviously, um, we can have here, like I've made a scan of the files, so this is um, every DLL is right here, it's all of them, but uh, it just took one so here, but as you can see, they have like undetected because they are not viruses obviously they're completely safe files um, you can analyze more and more you can see electronic arts dot dll um, this is for for multiple games it's just obviously like dll's now this will help with 0x000000 whatever 7b error this will help you um, but yeah enough with the talk this is advanced and uh, making the video more complicated than I should. But just go to Google Drive, download, click here on uh, download anyway, or descargo.com, for me it's in Romanian, obviously. Now we're just gonna wait for this to download. Okay, just close this right here and we have it in our downloads. Just right click. Uh, extract to and password is 2024 just click this right here um, and now we need to go to our battlefield 1 installation folder and put this here this here and game folder and just drag every DirectX and uh, Visual Studio C++ file and drag it in here you can just click replace or you know, it's not going to be replaced, you just have to click continue and it will replace every file, or copy it there. And then one more thing we need to do is, okay, so these are right here, we need to just copy, it goes to C, Windows, uh, down here should be syswow64, paste, and replace, uh, continue. Um, if this shows up, you need to restart your PC and try to copy it, uh, then it should work. 
now you can close this and try to quit up the game if this still doesn't work there is still something that we need to do one more thing that we need to do uh, is make sure windows isn't correct so we just need to type cmd click run as administrator yes and type sfc um dash scan now now this will check windows and uh, try to repair um windows and try to repair corrupt files now for me this is an error because i think i have to do an update and that's why it's not letting me um but yeah it should be zero blah 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 up to a hundred percent for you next up what we need to check is um event viewer which should be right here let's just uh, open this click on windows logs and applications and you should see uh, right here wait for it to load um there we go so instead of information there should be an error which like this completely exactly like this which happened to me so um it should say this right here and it should say ea anti-cheat service failed to obtain origin directory now again where well, this is practically there uh, it can be portrayed in very many ways that's because of again ea and uh, the anti-cheat to battlefield one which pretty much made the game crash for a lot of people and um, even for me and here is a lot of fixes that I tried compiled into one. Obviously, each one of them work in their own ways. Um, some might not, but it's guaranteed for one of them to work at least. Now, one thing there's also is in Battlefield 1 directory is, let's open this right here. And there should be, there might be, just click here on search and search crypt base. And some of you might have crypt base.dll. If you have it, please delete it. That interferes with the anti-cheat and it's not letting the game boot. Now, one more thing that could also cause is um, apps that can conflict with anti-cheat. So just go to um, search and type msconfig. And then this will pop up and what you need to go is on boot uh, or on services and just click here on hide all microsoft services and disable everything and i mean everything like disable all um and now just enable ea anti-cheat and ea background service and then click on apply and then restart your pc boot battlefield one but before you restart your PC, actually go to startup apps on task manager. So you can just tap type task manager and make sure you have everything here disabled. And once you do and you have this applied, then you can restart. Um, okay. So yeah, you just click on restart there and it should work. If the game boots, what you need to do is try to enable the services and startup apps one by one and see which one is the culprit in not letting the game boot for you. Now, moving on to the next fix, which is going to be... I have three more fixes to go and we are done. The last one is the one that fixed it for me and if none of these besides the last one fix it for you none of these until the last one uh, then the last one will fix it a hundred percent although it's the least convenient one it's guaranteed to fix battlefield one now uh, first of all let's just type defender and click here uh, not this defender we need a uh, window security or microsoft defender this click on here Click on um, manage settings, scroll down, yes. Now, um, here we can click on um, add an exclusion and click on folder and add your Battlefield 1 installation here. So just select folder and try to put the game. If this doesn't work, uh, one more fix is GPU drivers. Uh, Make sure you have your latest NVIDIA or AMD drivers um, or even AMD chipset drivers. So if you're an AMD like me, just click this and this will update your GPU and CPU drivers. And for NVIDIA, click here and you can do manual or it will automatically detect your 
uh, right. Now, the lax fix is a bit more complicated and you can do it in two ways. First of all, you can go into Windows and select Reset this PC. Just click on this and say uh, Remove Everything. Now, I don't recommend doing this, but it should work, but I don't recommend doing this. I recommend is downloading a Windows 10 ISO and reinstalling Windows. But when you open the ISO, you're not going to put it onto a CD drive. You're just going to right click the ISO, open with Windows, open the setup.exe, uh, continue, and then you'll have three options. Keep my files and apps, keep my files, remove everything. There, you should choose keep my files. Do not choose keep my files and apps because that will not fix the error. Um, but yeah, these were all the fixes uh, for Battlefield 1 and after this Battlefield 1 will uh, absolutely guaranteed to run, will be absolutely guaranteed to run on your PC, obviously if you meet the requirements. Um, this is me Dragush, I really hope you enjoyed this video um, and bye bye.